All right. Good morning, everyone. I wanted to drop in this morning and talk to you a little about removing yourself from toxic people. Because toxicity is dangerous. Yes, it is. It is so dangerous. And I tell you what, it'll take you to a place in life that you don't want to be. Because I was reading a book, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the book that I, that I about a new reading. And I, I posted it on yesterday about my new reading. And I also had some conversations and, and confirmed in what it was I was thinking about. Toxic people. Toxicity. You got to get it out of your head. And in the book that I that I purchased. This is my new reading. <laughs> I like to read and educate myself constantly because there's so much information out there, so many different things that can help you in life when you're reading about something and it's educating you on different areas in life, on different uh, subject titles. Because, listen here, you have views about things and other people have some of those same views that you have, you're saying the same thing. It's just different people saying it. So the book says, get out of your head, okay? And stopping the spiral of toxic thoughts. Stopping the spiral of toxic thoughts. You know, you do have to get out of your head. And you do have to stop that those spiral, those toxic thoughts, because what happens is they begin to move around in your mind all the time. And it takes you from your most greatest accomplishment, your most greatest and passionate thoughts. You know why? Because you start thinking on the negative all the time. You start thinking of the, on the worst all the time. You start just marinating your life in things that's doing nothing but destroying you. That's all they're doing. People can be toxic. Let me tell you, I was talking to my spiritual daughter on last night, uh, Danielle, and we were, we was, she had posted something out. We weren't physically talking on the phone. We were texting back and forth. And she posted something that said, Stop saying that you are broke. Stop saying that you are broke. And I responded and said, I've been wanting to say that. I am so glad that somebody is saying that. Stop telling yourself you broke. Let me tell you something. God will put holes in your pocket. Keep talking about you broke. You got more than you could ever imagine. Because as long as you are alive, you can go make some money. It's always ways to make some money. Stop telling yourself that. Stop telling everybody that you see that I'm broke. How are you always broke? So God blessing everybody else, but he not blessing you. Come on now. Stop speaking this stuff over your life. It's dangerous. You stop speaking, I'm broke all the time. I, 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 I know people that do that. That's toxic. That's toxic. That people, sometimes it, it just, all it does is create more bad behavior. More negative behavior. And you know what? It'll stop you. From doing the things that you so desire to do because you are feeding this to your head, in your mind. That becomes your thought pattern. It does. It becomes the, your way of life, of everything becoming so negative. I was speaking with my uh, great nephew on last night who is off in college and we, and we do a we, we do a, a conversation 
Sunday's conversation, me and him, and we 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 do it through Instagram. I think that's what we use it. But listen, and we and, and as we're talking, and I wanted to share this with you this morning. How and it's still this is what this is, this is what I'm talking about as you hear it in defining why you don't want to be toxic. And you need to get these toxic thoughts out of your head. Okay? Listen here. Just follow me. I was sharing with him in life. Just imagine. God starts all of us off with an A. That's our grade. An A. And we, and we have to maintain that A in life. It's just like being in a classroom. And that instructor tells everyone, everybody in here as of today has an A. You haven't done anything, but it is your responsibility to either maintain that A or lose it. And this is what, this is what, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm reflecting from sermon years ago that, 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 that my late husband uh, he preached it and he taught it in, Bi in, in, in a Bible study. But it went more in depth in Bible study about the A. Every now and then, you think about the A in your life. So when I start going through this, then you go, you're going to see where I'm, what I'm saying more clearly about why we have to get toxic people and out of our life and toxic thoughts out of our heads, okay? So when you, when God starts us out with an A, and we are responsible for maintaining that, what we have to do is we have to make sure that we continue to build in life, that we take what we have and build from that in life. I was explaining to my great nephew how you build streets. See, when you build in streets in life, you maintaining that A in life. And the way that you build streets in life is that you listen to God and you get away from listening to what people telling you. Because people going to take you down every time. And don't get mad at them because that's their job, some of them. There's people in your life to build you up and there's people coming in your life trying to tear you down. That's why you got to be careful who you allow in your life. And if God already gave you an A, he started us all out with an A. And come at birth, when you, you, you haven't done nothing, you haven't committed no kind of sins, you haven't done anything. You just been born onto the face of this earth. But listen, in order to keep that A, you got to go to God for some direction. You can't just do everything because you want to do it. You got to go to him for some direction and you got to listen to his voice. You got to, to maintain that A. You got to build some streets. You were building streets when you started going to school. First, first, you was in the public school system. You was building a street trying to get from kindergarten to the 12th grade. You was building a street then. You got to build a street up when you get in the workforce or you become an entrepreneur. You building another street. See, you maintaining that A because you're doing something with your life. You are doing something with your life. You are building tables in your life. Another street you build, whatever. Those are those, those are there are those. Who say, well, I don't, I don't believe in God. You know, I mean, I, I ain't got to get nothing against nobody. I, I, I'm not here to try to tell nobody what to do or what not to do. I'm just saying, there are those of us who do, who do believe in God and believe and trust in what he's saying and how he's directing our life and we're being obedient in it. And, that, and, 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 I, and I respect the fact that even people that see this video, you know, they might not see, see it or walk with their belief like I do. But listen here. You are still building a street when you are walking with God. You are building a street. You are building a, a, a foundation under the truth, the knowledge and the truth of 
what he has instructed you to do in them 66 books of the Bible. You are building a street, a street, a foundation that's going to take you further in life than you could ever imagine because I don't care who you are. Everybody, all of us, sometimes you're going to be on the mountaintop and sometimes you're going in the valley. Don't you never think that you're going to always be on the mountaintop. When you're on the mountaintop, it's like everything that you touch turns to gold. That's when you're on the mountaintop. You can't stop flourishing enough when you're on the mountaintop. But let me tell you something. You're going to go in that valley. I don't know when, but you're going. Everybody goes in the valley sometimes. But where you learn is in the valley. Because when you're on the mountaintop, you celebrate. And when you celebrate, you got to be careful. Because you might be celebrating with some toxic people. You might be celebrating with some people who really, really, really not glad and excited about where you are going in life. They're not excited about your blessings in life. They're not excited about the advances you're making in life. They're not excited about how you're impacting somebody else's life in a positive way. They're not excited about it because they're not happy about it because they are toxic. And they're trying to make you lose that A in life. You can maintain that A. And you don't have to see it how I see it. But there is a way that all of us will maintain that A in our lives. And one way that I see it is you've got to get away from toxic people. You got to get away from toxic thoughts. See, people that gossip all the time, they toxic. Because just like they'll talk about someone who's not present, they're going to talk about you when you're not present. That's toxicity. And my thing is, why are you talking about them and they're not there to defend themselves? See, working in the court system for 10 years was no joke. Working in the court system for 10 years, y'all, it was no joke. And let me tell you, you had to have your head on straight. As a legal advocate, I had to have my head on straight. I had to make sure I walked right, I talked right, I had everything and all documentation in order. I didn't have time to, 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 to get out there and not maintain my sense of an A. What's my sense of an A? My sense of an A is this, you guys, this morning. Listen to me closely. Your sense of having an A is to make sure that you have dotted every I and crossed every T. Because guess what? When I walk in that courtroom, them people, them people, as a legal advocate, you got to know your stuff. That was not a job to play with. You got to know your stuff. And let me tell you something. I don't care how long it took. I know that the person that my client, my client needed for me to be the strongest and the best person that I could be. Because guess what? If my documentation isn't together, hey, it, we're going to have some problems in that courtroom. Because it's all fair game now. I had to maintain the A in what? In my thought pattern. I, if I knew that I had a case that I was going to court on Monday morning, I'm going to make sure I cleanse myself over the weekend. Make sure I drink plenty of water. Fluid myself up. Make sure I walk. Make sure I do everything I can. So when I go in that courtroom, that I am fresh. My mind is fresh. Not, not cloud my mind and go in there and meet my client at the courthouse and, my, and, and I got all this toxicity in my brain. That just don't work. You got to have a clear mind and you got to maintain that A in your life. God gave you an A. You started out with an A. How you lose it? Because you stop paying attention to your blessings 
and you start paying attention to all that negative stuff that people telling you, that people trying to pour over your life, that you are speaking over your life. Stop speaking that stuff. I st to speak life over your life is what you need to do. Stop talking about death so much. Stop talking about, you nor me can't control death. We don't like it. None of us like it. We don't like losing uh, uh, loved ones. We don't like losing friends. You know, we, we should live while we can and die when we can't help it. But we don't need to be talking about that and speaking that over our lives all the time. Let God deal with that. That's toxic. It's like some people, that's all they want to talk about. Is everybody, like they the local newspaper that, that has passed away. People, I'm telling you, people are getting exhausted with that. People are getting, ex and I'm telling you, I talk to people not just here in Texas. I deal with people all over the state that reach out to me. And they're tired of it. They're drained. They're exhausted. It's just that, is that all that we can talk about? God give each and every one of us a life. And we need to live it to the fullest because we can't control them. None of us. But what we're doing, what is happening is putting fear in people. And people know that death is real. But that stuff becomes toxic. Because now it's just like it's just the subject of the day. Being broke, I'm just so broke. It's just people just. It becomes the subject of the day. You got to get out of your head. You got to get other people out of your head and start living. God started you out with an A. You maintain that. In the way that you maintain that, live life that he gave to you. Make the best of it while you here. Live while you can and die when you can't help it. But that's not a subject that you should be draining people with every day. I'm telling y'all, I hear it from people. I hear the frustration. And you know what? Sometimes things that you see so small, it's a big thing to God. I'm going to tell you why it's a big thing to God. God said, y'all act like I don't know what I'm doing when I do something. Life and death is in my hand. Why y'all talking about it so much? Why y'all talking about it so much? That stuff will drain you. Toxicity is real. Toxic people are real. I don't care what come out of their mouth is going to be negative. You can tell them you just bought a home. They'll start talking about, you sure you want to do that? I, you can tell them that I just bought me a car. You sure you need another car? You sure you need them bills? Let me tell you something. I was taught this a long time ago by my parents. If a person ain't got no bills, they ain't got nothing. If you don't have a house, no. If you don't have rent, if you don't have electricity bills, you don't have nothing. You just, you just wait for somebody else to provide you with everything you need. And you know why we don't have stuff, so many of us, because we talk ourselves out of stuff. We talk ourselves out of our own blessings. Talking about what we ain't, I'm just broke, child, I'm so broke. And that becomes the major subject of the day. I'm just so broke. I don't care where you see that person. Stop saying you broke. Stop speaking that over your life. Because you are taken away from that aid that God started you out with. Because you're not believing and trusting him to keep pushing. Keep pushing. I was telling my nephew, because you kept pushing, because you decided that you was going to continue to build streets, you then went from public school to college. 
And not just him, I'm saying that is happening in the lives of so many of our young people. But we don't admire them. We don't, we don't try to build them up. We don't try to keep them focused. We want to talk about the ones out here shooting up one another. You, 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 can't, you cannot stop that on your own. That's why you got law enforcement and other entities in place. Because that's toxic. That's toxic. And it takes away from you when you put so much focus on it. When you just let that thing drain your battle. Some folk you got to get away from. Sometimes some thoughts you got to get out of your head. You got to get away from it. Because if you don't, that thing, that person is going to take you down. And I don't care if it's family, friends, or foe, whoever it is. It's just like some people give up on their dreams because people don't support them. So what? When God gave you your vision, guess what? He didn't make a conference call. It was you and him. He was helping you when he gave you that vision. When he called you out, he was helping you to maintain that A in your life. You know why? Because you was listening to him. I can tell you, every time I got away from the voice of God, I messed up. Every time. Every time. And nobody's saying you got to be perfect. Because you'll never reach perfection on this side. What I'm simply saying is God started us out with an A. We got to maintain that A. And how we do it is we do the best we can in our life, with our life, and depending on him to correct us when we need it. And nobody is perfect, not even me. So what I'm saying to you this morning, maintain your A. And one of the, one of the ways you can do that, continue to build those streets in your life. You know what streets you building. You know what tables you building. Those are your tables you building. Those are your streets you building. Maintain that A. Stay close to God. Listen to him. Let me tell you something. People that you hear talking because they got some money and, and they on the mountaintop. Let me tell you something. Them same people going down in the valley. Everybody goes to the valley. You go make a visit to the valley. Because on the mountaintop, everything is flourishing. And everybody, even me, can say, the mountaintop, I've been there. It feels good on the mountaintop. But, hey, I had to go down in the valley. The ground underneath me started shifting. I was going down in the valley. Hard times do come. But in the valley, is where you, that's where you learn. That's where you gain your strength because that's where you start paying more attention to God. See, because when you're on the mountaintop, you just giving him little drops of your time. But when you go down in that valley, that's a total dependency on him. Stop giving up your life to other toxic people that don't want to see you do good anyway. Who are trying to stop your dreams anyway. Who are trying to tell you that those things that you are thinking about and those things that you are doing and those things that you desire don't matter. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. They matter to you and they matter to God. So guess what? Only thing I'm simply saying this morning. Find a way to remove yourself. From toxic people. They too toxic for you. And you can't handle toxic people when you got dreams you want to accomplish. Because let me tell you something. When you going 10 in your life because you slow down, you decide, I ain't going to make that A. I'm going to get away from that 100. I'm going to start listening to whoever you listening to. And then you start dropping down from that A. And now you now you had a B. Then you go to a B minus. Then you from a B minus down to a C. 
You better catch yourself before you be at an F. Because that's what toxicity does to you and to me. I go through things just like everybody else do. I have moments in my life like everybody else do. But I also know that, Letra, you got to get yourself together. You got to keep yourself together. You got to do some self-talk. And you got to watch who you hang around. And you got to watch who want to hang around you. And you can't be telling yourself. See, that's self-talk. You can't be telling yourself that you're not worthy of anything. You got enough people saying that to you, believing that about you. You going to believe that about yourself? No way. No way. Maintain that A in your life. Stay the course. God already started you out with an A. Only job you got to do is lose it. And that's, a, that's on you. That's on you. Keep your head on straight. Keep your head on straight. Let me say it again. Keep your head on straight. Don't let nobody cause you to lose your weight. And yes, we are all guilty of, of getting off track sometimes. And the way that we do it, because we get around the wrong people. We start tuning in, in our mind, to the wrong channels. Them toxic thoughts, get them out of your head. Get them out of your head. Because you're going to always think the worst. Get those toxic thoughts out of your head. And get those toxic people out of your life. They not worth it. They are not worth it. Maintain your A. Build your streets. Keep walking even when people want you to sit down. Keep talking when even when people want you to be quiet. Keep writing when people want telling you to stop. Just keep building. In your life. Whatever you do. Keep building. And stop speaking. All this toxicity. Over your life. Stop it. You got to start somewhere. Stop talking about death all the time. Stop talking about. Things that's taking you. Just down. Stop talking about being broke all the time. It's draining people. It's exhausting people. And whether you know it or not, some people really want to be there for you. But they get away from you because of all of the toxicity. All of the negative. And that's not good for you. It's not good for me. It's not good for nobody. But you got to make the right decision to do the right thing, and maintain that A in your life. Speak positive over your life. That's going to help you. Don't matter what somebody else don't want for you, you keep wanting and desiring for yourself what you want and desire. Okay? I just wanted to come on and share that with you guys this morning. I pray that everybody have a wonderful day on today and just be strengthened and get that toxicity out your mind. Live while you can and die when you can't help. Okay? Live while you can and die when you can't help. Because none of us control life or death. That's up to God. You don't have to keep talking about it. That's up to God. He's got a death day for me. I don't know it, but I'm not going to sit around and worry about it. I'm going to live while I can, and I'm going to die when I can't help it. Because that can. Death is real. It is. But that can become toxic. 
when that's your only conversation. Because what you're telling God is he don't know what he's doing. He don't know what he's doing. I said, why you keep having that conversation? You act like you control life and death. I'm giving you resources to make money. And you won't even go do it. You'd rather complain and say you don't have none. It's so much out here to do. People starting businesses every day. Every day. Becoming entrepreneurs. Every day. My grandson started his business at 15 years of age. He's 18 now. My daughter started her business. My spiritual daughter, she started her business. I mean, like, they stepped out there. They took a chance. And they doing it. Ain't nobody saying you're going to get rich overnight. But you know what? When you're doing something that you enjoy doing, hey, there's so many people. Not just them, I could go on and on. I got nieces that can start their own business. I mean, like, it's just so many people, I can't name everybody. But when I look at it, and I look at what they are doing and how they are stepping out there on faith to do this stuff, and then you see people that every time you turn around, all they're saying is, I'm so broke. I'm trying to figure out how. Because there's always a way to make some money. It's always a way. Might not be the money that you want at the level that you want it, but you can make some. You can do something. Okay? So I just wanted to come on and tell y'all that this morning. Get shared, not tell y'all, share that with you guys this morning. Get out of your head. Get away from that toxicity. Get them negative thoughts out of there. It's going to kill you. It's going to take you down. It's going to do just what it's designed for. To take away that A in your life that God started you out with. Okay? So, before I get off of here this morning and tell you guys to have a wonderful day, don't forget, I have my podcast coming up on this Wednesday. Last week we had some te technical difficulties. Um, myself and my technical director, but... We've uh, been we working on it. And Miss uh, Shalandra McAfee, I, I really just want to take this time out to really thank her for her understanding um, on last week that it was out of, something out of our control. So hopefully we made contacts and I've gotten with the Geek Squad and hopefully everything is okay now. So on my... On my um, Interview from last week, I only got, got really a portion, 10 minutes of it that I posted to my Facebook page with Miss McAfee, who has a, a who has a great spirit, a wonderful and forgiving heart, uh, knowing that it was just something out of my control. Um, and then I tried to go on and do a Zoom and hopefully post it. And then I found out that Zoom is not saved. So that didn't work. But I'm thankful to God that the Geek Squad was able to go out there and grab at least 10 minutes of that interview that I had with Miss McAfee. But I also, I also want to uh, thank my technical director from Stand Up these late nights where we're trying to work on it ourselves and see what happened, what's going on. But again, tune in. This week, for I'm going to have Mr. and Mrs. Cornell Brown, and they're going to be on and telling their story on Wednesday night, 6.30 p.m., Electric James Inspirational Talks. So y'all have a wonderful day, and um, I'm going to pre-record on tonight because I, I'm, I'm working late today, and I'm going to be too exhausted in the morning. Uh, so what I'm going to do is pre-record tonight. I won't be live uh, tomorrow morning, but you will have a posting of, so, with some words of inspiration. So you guys take care. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Monday. And uh, hey, get those negative thoughts out of your mind. 
and get those negative people out of your life and keep moving. Because guess what? You worth it. Maintain your eight. You worth it. All right? Bye-bye.